hi guys welcome back so in today's video we will be solving another hacker rank python question so the question is uh, we will be learning list comprehension use by solving this question so you are given three integers x y and z representing the dimensions of a cuboid along with an integer n so you are given four integers basically x y z and n where x y z represents the dimensions of the cuboid and n represents an integer Print all the possible coordinates given by i, j, k on a 3D grid where the sum of i, j and k is not equal to n. So what are these i, j and k? These i, j and k uh, will lie between, okay, i will lie between 0 and x, right? So x is a number which we are taking as input. So i lies between this range and j in this range and k respectively in this range. So we need to find all these uh, permutations where the range of i j and k lies between this x y and z but the sum of i j and k should not be equal to n right so that's why we are getting taking an additional integer n with sum of i j and k right we will get an ordered pair right so like here over here the sum of i j and k should not be equal to n it could be uh, other than any value of n but it should not equal we should not include that ordered pair in, uh, in our result so we'll be using a list in order to implement this list and list comprehension so let's see the example x is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 z is equal to 3 so these are the x y z values and n is equal to 3 so according to this the range uh, here the i lies between 0 and 1 j lies between 0 and 1 and k lies between 0 and 2 according to this particular conditions right so as the this is the range and n this is this one and by that we uh, we have uh, calculated all the permutations so this is the resulting set where this is i j and k so as per the range we'll be uh, finding all the permutations but this is what we don't this is not needed for us but the one which we need is this one right here it includes all the permutations but as as asked in the question they only want where i plus j plus k is not equal to n they don't need all those cases they only need with where i plus j plus k is not equal to n when there is when it is equal to n they don't need so here if you see 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 3 so n is also 3 over here and this particular uh, list summation of these items is resulting to 3 so we don't need this particular item and even this one right so all these type of lists we don't need for that we just need to exclude them right? so this is the resulting list right? where it contains all the list where the summation is not equal to n or 3 uh, i think you have understood the question properly we need to understand the question properly then only we can write the code a code is very simple uh, you just understand the question properly if you don't understand the question properly then you may face difficulty uh, do let me know in the comments below uh, if if you need a better explanation i will explanation i will give an explanation through the comment so now let's uh, start writing the code so we as i said we will be using the list comprehension so list comprehensions are the concise or the very simpler way of writing so many things like instead of using the for loops uh, one for loop going inside the another or nested for loops it's a very concise shorter and very simple way right so let's start uh, let's name the, the list as a result it's not a set a result in list yeah so in the list comprehension first we need to write all the elements which are going or all the elements which are going into new list so here the item itself is a list right sometimes the items can be a float string uh, or integer or something but here the item which are going into a list is another list right so 
here you could see it's a list of a list right there is an outer list and there is an inner list so that's why we need to write an inner list and the items inside this list are i j and k from where these we are getting these values so we need to use the iterations in order to get iterations in order to get these values for i in range we will be using the range function in order to generate the range uh, as per this condition so the range should be starting from 0 till that value till that value means x for the i it, it is x for j it is y for k it is z so but as we know range function uh, does not include the last value that's why we need to add a one similarly for j and 0 to y plus 1 for k in range 0 to z plus 1 but this gives there is some mistake it is showing for i in the range for j in the range yeah here i forgot to write one but this one will give all the permutations right so there is no kind of filtering over here so it just gives all these permutations we don't need where the sum of each uh, individual elements inside this list is equal to n for that we need to use the condition at the last so we need to write if i plus j plus z not equal to n see this is a very much simple syntax than using a nested for loops and appending uh, the items to the list right so this is a very simpler way of writing you can span over multiple lines so if it's very confusing for you you can just span over multiple lines like this so in this way you can easily see what is uh, there in each line first this is the result which we are getting and this is for iteration for i this is for j k and we are applying this condition so where this condition is met that will be added into this list if this condition is not met then those are not added they are skipped right so yeah that's it we can run the code see no response some okay we forgot to print result now it should uh, show the output your output zero zero we have done some mistake i j and k for i in range 0 x plus 1 for j in range 0 y plus 1 here this one is a mistake it should be k not z some these kind of uh, typos will happen we need to be careful passed both the test cases and submit so that it will try on other test cases also yes all the test cases has been passed yeah that's it guys you can try this with for loops also but that will become somewhat big so using the list comprehension it's very easy first was the new items then the iterations then the condition uh, that's it guys thank you for watching